everyone, it's Mangamix here. We're playing some more Harvey's New Eyes. Let's begin. Get this. No, there's a ball of wool in there. I want the ball Actually, of wool. Actually, the ball of wool should have stayed in the treasure chest for all eternity as a symbol of Indeed friendship. Indeed, it should. But Lily was running out of Indeed options. Indeed, I am. Okay, let's get out of here. Follow Edna. Oops. Hi, Harvey. Hello, Lily. You're not trying to leave the school grounds, Me? are you? Leave the school. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. And you do know... You must not contradict adults. It's possible to have lots of fun without defying the rules set mm, by adults. Not sure I agree. We could sort your marbles according to colors. Woo! Or come up with a counting rhyme for folding laundry. Woo! No matter how tempting the funny rabbit suggestions were, Lily had to get through the fence and find... Edna. I'm not sure I would ever describe Harvey as funny. Disturbing as hell, maybe, but not funny. What do you have there? Can I see it? Uh-huh. A ball of wool! Yippee! But that's... that's... Woogie. I'm not quite sure what we're doing here, but I guess we're going into our subconscious again. Woogie. Just get on with it, Harvey. Jesus. Okay, so we're going to another dimension to remove the block of disobeying adults. With the rabbit's help, Lily had returned into a trance. In the distance, she could see the giant Mother Superior stomping around in front of her cave. And over there, where in reality had been a huge gap in the fence, there was now a cobweb with a giant spider in the center. I hate spiders, guys. That's this quite hard. had to be the second demon for her to defeat. Also, are you seeing these dead guys hanging from trees in the background? I'm having a great time. I'm having the best time ever. I need a pile of bones. So, we got a rib. Let's dip it in the shower. Not quite sure why we need that, but let's talk to Harvey. Didn't anyone ever tell you that you're not allowed to leave this school? Funny grounds. enough, a blue rabbit did recently. You must not contradict a doll. Why are you talking like the Count? But since you're such a good girl, you already know that. Oh god, that's horrible. Lily that noise. did indeed know this, but Garrett had also told her that she was no longer safe here in the convent. Suddenly, adult rules seemed rather nonsensical to Lily. How could she convince the spider demon that even Mother Superior wasn't always right? We could shove a tar-covered bone up its ass. Lily was curious whether this would have any effect. Oh! She's gonna think it's a unicorn! And kill it. Voila! <laughs> when Lily saw how Mother Superior took the spider in her arms... Her heart melted. Aww. Suddenly, Mother Superior no longer seemed so big and grown up. And terrifying. She emerged from her trance with a blissful smile on her lips. That was an easy block to remove, guys. It's beautiful. Anyway, that's another one done. So we now have uh, Don't Contradict Adults. We can now contradict them again. Two blocks removed out of like eight, I think. Voice of an angel, guys. Got a voice of a fucking angel. Anyway, let's get on with this. Lily had overcome her second behavioral block. She might still only have been able to ignore one rule, but it was better than nothing. Okay, well, I guess we need to, uh... We can now contradict it out. Let's follow Edna. And voila, off we go. I like the weird magical girl shit still so much. And then we're on chapter two out of three, by the way. There's three chapters total. Edna's hideout. Onwards we press to victory. To glorious victory. It was already dusk when Lily set off down the convent Aww. hill. How you You're doing? Late. Come and be Where have you been all this time? Um. Save it. Save it. There's a time for words and a time for action. She never has a chance to speak ever. And there's a third time. The time for sitting at the police station and filling out forms. And that time has come. Uh-uh. Why uh-uh? What now? Ah, don't say anything. You want your girlfriend. What's her name? 
Oh, uh, Edna, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> I could tell right away that that girl meant overtime. But if she's still alive, I'll probably have to take care of this You will too. indeed, Garrett. Although I think it's much more likely that Dr. Marcel has already found her and used a wood chipper to turn her into big feet. That's entirely likely. If that's the case, I'll find that out too. So don't worry about your little girlfriend anymore. Pretty worried about her, to be fair. <sighs> Why do I always have to be so damn compassionate? <laughs> it's a curse. Oh well. Wait here while I investigate a few things. I'll watch the path to the institution. Maybe I'll learn something that way. If I discover anything, I'll give you a signal. I'll make an owl call. Ooh, ooh. Very good, very something good. Like that. You won't miss it. Okay. Wait here for me. I'm sure it will only take a few hours. We're gonna do something in the meantime, obviously, because that would be stupid. She looks like she really needs to pee, by the Lily way. Lily was immensely that. relieved that Edna's fate was now in the hands of this exceptionally competent youth investigator. However, she would have liked to have shown him the map with the directions to Edna's hiding that place. That probably would have helped. But Garrett had already disappeared. Lily risked a glance at the map. Let's do this. Let's do this. She could see more lake from here. Edna's hiding place couldn't it's be down that there far. to the right, I guess. Oh, hi, Harvey. You're not planning on running into the moor after dark, are you? Oh, God, don't go in dangerous places is one of don't the blocks. Don't you know how dangerous that is? You must not hang around dangerous places. There are so many other nice places for children to visit. The Agricultural Museum, for that example. That sounds so exciting. Or the Job Information Center at the Employment Office. That sounds wonderful. Office. Lily was starting to think that the funny stuffed rabbit wasn't so funny after it's all. It's just weird. She stubbornly risked another look at the map. Go on, go on. You must not hang around dangerous places. Oh god, we dropped it. <laughs> Fuck off, Harvey. Uh, oh, uh, I'm sorry. I certainly didn't want to startle you. Harvey, you being a dish. friends, after no, all. No, we're not. And friends don't play pranks on each we're other. We're not friends, Harvey. We're not friends. You're evil now. Well, you kind of were evil before, but a different kind of evil. Map. What the hell? Oh, well, I guess we're going to the village because the map has gone that way. Off to the village we go. Come here, map. Come here. I sense this may be a major issue. Yeah, we can't go in there. Wonderful. Lily arrived just in time to see the flying topography tool disappear through a grilled window. Why is it flying? That's not fair. Okay, anyway, let's have a look. What do we have here? Pizza box. Some chili peppers. Okay. Got a bike and an air pump. I think I'd like that as well. That must be the police car. It's a bike. So this is the police station we're at? Let's go inside and see what's going down with the police, shall we? Seeing as that's where our mysterious note has gone. Yes, it is the police station. Oh, it's the dude from the tutorial. That dude. What do we have? We have a yellow pen. I think I'll take that. Some Valium. I'm surprised there isn't a block from us doing drugs. Wine gums. The map's down here. What's this? Oh, we're going to have to get drunk and blow a bad alcohol reading so we end up in the drunk tank and get the map. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to get drunk just yet. Okay, let's talk to the police officer. He'll probably explain that to us, but it makes sense. Uh, what? What? Oh, oh, just a little girl. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Aren't you worried that the loonies will catch Terrified. you? Terrified. Uh -uh. Well, you should be. So hurry, get back to bed. Or did you want to make a complaint? Um, yes. Uh huh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, this had to happen someday. He has and nothing to do. And who do you do. want to make a complaint about, if I may ask? Um. Doctor, Ma I'll make a complaint about ourselves, so we go in, in jail. Uh -huh. You don't mean yourself, do you? Uh huh. <laughs> Police! What terrible things could a little girl like you have done? We murdered Children seven people. Children your age can't even be charged with a crime. We murdered seven the people. The only reason to lock up a young kid like you would be to sober you up. But I'm sure a girl who looks as well behaved as you already knows to stay away from alcohol, right? Uh-huh. You see? Of course, if you insist, you can take a voluntary alcohol test anyway. The machine is over there, against the wall. But I can't arrest you if you haven't gone and drunk nothing. 
Okay, well, we have to get drunk, obviously. That seems to be the puzzle here. We have to. I don't know how old the lady's going to be, but she's certainly not of a drinking age, I would say. Anyway, let's uh, signpost, don't care, symmetry. Let's go into the bar. The prime place to get drink. Drink, drunk, drink. Flounder automat, what's this? To use the machine, you needed small change and a comfortable relationship with Salmonella. Wonderful, wonderful, that's a great line. I have a great relationship with Salmonella. Correction jar. We can just take it. Bartender. Oh, what do we have here? I want our finest whiskey. A little girl without parents, all alone in the night. How sweet. I think that's the wrong word. What brings you into this dark oh, dive God. where no one can hear you He's scream. He's a lovely guy, really. Alcohol. I can't serve children alcohol. I think you can try. I'm missing the recipe for the only alcoholic oh. cocktail on the menu. The Volcano Berserker. Sounds delicious. Plus, I ran out of the ingredients. So, if you want a drink, you'll have to get me the right ingredients. And then, the drinks will be free. Here. The menu. Okay, let's have a look at the menu and see what we need to make the Volcano Berserker, I guess. Read it. Okay, so, Volcano Berserker, ingredients. What? But there's no ingredients listed there. Or rather. A Volcano Berserker? Unfortunately, the previous owner, or, but they haven't found him oh. yet, and they won't. Not where they're looking. Sorry, I skipped some dialogue there because I thought he was just going to say that we couldn't do it. So, we need to get the recipe, but the guy who wrote it is dead. The ingredients for the puffer fish include puffer fish. You need puffer fish and Valium to make a knockout poison smile. And you need neon green, neon yellow, and neon pink. Okay, for that. Don't know what that's for, but we will figure this out. Anywhere else we can go in the spa. Can you please stop doing that? It's really creepy. Can we take the neon pink illumination advertising? We can indeed. Wonderful. Right, I guess we should look at the graveyard and see if we can find this, uh... Dead guy. Who the hell are you? You look very disturbed. Miranda the medium. I think we can pick up first, like, the green neon thing here. That'd be very useful. Hello, Miranda the medium. Can you help us? Um... What? I... Wait. No! This isn't Aunt Gorgula. My name is Miranya. Miranya the medium. How many more times do I have to tell you? What? But that's... One moment. Please stay on the line. Sorry, little girl. That's awesome. This could take a moment. It's that bartender, Max. Oh, Mitchell I need to again. talk to him. A real pain in the ass. So dead, and yet so talkative. Come to think of it. The spirits are very unsettled today. They're all talking over each other. If only I had earplugs. Um. What was that? Now listen to me, my dear lady. I'm not a greeting cards courier. <laughs> I'm sure that... Max Mixo, would you please shut up for a he moment? He talk a lot, Max Mixo. Who, who? No, I don't know anyone called Priscilla. Marania was busy. Lily could completely understand that. She knew how hard it was to ignore spirits, yeah. especially those that tried to grab you at but night. I think Lily has other issues as well. Anyway, let's give her some wine gum. She can use them as earplugs. Hmm? What? Oh. Hi, little girl. What do you have there? Are those earplugs? Definitely. Fabulous. Thank you. It's exactly what I need right now. Hmm. No, these are too big. So, hello? Can anyone hear me? Ah, oh, much better. Yes, loud and clear. Well, give us the recipe Who then. Who wants to be first? Max Mixo. Max Mixo? Yeah. I could have guessed that. What's the recipe? What's could the recipe? Could you possibly do me another favor? Uh-huh. It's about Max Mixo. The previous bartender at the village bar. Yes, we know who that is. worried about his legacy. Exactly. The volcano berserker. I'd be worried too. He'd always hoped that this drink would make him immortal someday. We both know that his plan failed. But now he literally took the recipe to his grave. Well, tell us that. And he so wanted to leave it to posterity. It's very simple. Okay. The cocktail only has three Three ingredients, ingredients okay? Wine gum, artemisia, and a chili pepper. Did you get that? Uh-huh. Thank you, Lily. Maybe the great Max Mixo can finally find peace. And me too. 
Okay, so we need, we've got, well, we got two of the ingredients as well. I don't know what the other one is. I guess it's like a plant or something, is anything in the graveyard here? Okay, I've, well, we've got the ingredients to make the neon one, so maybe we can make that and then figure out what to do with it afterwards. Um, where's the menu gone? I'm gonna use that on the bartender. Let's do this. If you want to. I want this neon drink. Coming right up. Yes, uh, I think I have the oh, ingredients. Oh, by the way, that's a non-alcoholic cocktail. But don't worry, there's enough other illegal substances in it. Lovely. We'll take that. Okay. Now we need to figure out what to do with this drink, though. Courtyard, police station. Have we missed something important? Can we actually go back this way? The bridge. Oh god. The path that it's Garrett them. had taken led Lily to a small bridge over one of the brackish creeks running off from Moor Lake. Two trustworthy looking men in white lab coats were working there. Lily wasn't quite sure what to make They're of them. They're not them. trustworthy. It's she the also the first recognized game. Garrett in the bushes on the other shoreline. Apparently, he didn't want to be seen by the two men. And although the two nocturnal workers had made a friendly impression on Lily, she decided to follow the youth investigator's lead. And have you found anything yeah, yet? Do you have to keep asking that? I'll let you know if I discover something. Yeah, I guess you're right. I think Dr. Marcel's madness is starting to rub off on me. Ever since we found this stuffed rabbit by the lake, he's been obsessed. That guy's the new recruit. We should be taking care of patients instead of poking around the moor. And then there's that absurd plan with the hypnosis doll. Stop already and keep looking. Have you actually found anything the Edna's body yet? or what? Well, Lily had heard enough. Apparently, the men in white were Dr. Marcel's minions. Damn right they are. It appeared that Edna's concern had been justified. Dr. Marcel really was looking for her. It was now more important than ever to find Edna's hiding place. Okay, so... Gonna put the neon drink in the feeding trough. The sign said that saber-toothed boars should not be fed. Lily wouldn't break this rule unless there was a good reason. Oh, but Lily, Hobby. didn't you read the sign? You're not supposed to feed the boars. The forest ranger said so. You must not contradict the dog. He's not an adult, he's a kid, I but saw him. luckily, you know that yourself. Can we just do it again? Is there a way we can... The sign said this Lily... <sighs> but look, didn't you... Uh, 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 but look... I don't know what to do to get him to, to stop doing this. Hmm. I don't know. Can we use the ball of war? Lily died, but she was. Hmm. Hang on. We do that. Of course we do. I'm such an idiot. Neon drink. Go. The sign said that saber. Lily. <laughs> if the saber tooth boars had to mark their territory, then they should do it properly. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that's achieved, but we'll find out, I guess. Okay, well, I guess the saber-toothed boar is now doing something. And we just made a weird noise. And there's Artemisia. We got all the ingredients somehow. I'm not quite sure how that works. I guess it took a piss on the ingredients. Okay, anyway, to the bar. And we can now make the ideal cocktail with the bartender. Thank you, sir. A volcano berserker coming right up. But be careful. be careful. That drink packs a punch. And I'm not talking about punchy colada if you catch my drift. I don't understand the thing you're saying. Oh, God, we can't have a drink, can we? But, Lily, what's that for? That's not good for little children. Damn it. You must not touch alcohol. And milk is much better for your teeth anyway. Thanks, Harvey. Thanks for ruining everything. All the time. <laughs> Look at my funny chompers. You They're gonna stay cute, there? aren't they? Uh-huh. He's going to stay there, which means we can do this. Time to remove the Ooh, alcohol block. The ball of wool. Can I see it again? Mm. Uh-huh. Off we go. Let's remove this alcohol block. Oogie. 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 Everyone has to 
let's just say this together from now on whenever it occurs. Okay, guys? It's vitally important. What the fuck? It's that painting. No, no, don't. But there was no behavioral block. This is a really bad idea. It's gonna wake me up, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Fuck! I should have known that. Coffee's but. <sighs> okay, let's do this again. But li Okay, now we use the ball of whirl on Harvey. Okay, we're back here. And we kept the mayonnaise between dreams. Lily liked the cold. It reminded her of her bed. Can we pick up the cigars? Hey, those are only for players. I'm a dog. <laughs> that was the best line of dialogue ever. We're in a western village. And I'm not really sure why. There's a cash cow. A... What the hell? Okay. What the hell? Um. Um. Howdy, stranger. Hi, widow. What's a nice little girl like you doing in a rough place like this? Wait. You're not here for the gold rush, too, are you? Yes, I am. Well, then you might as well just pack up your bags again. The only gold around here is in my mine. And I'm the only one who knows the way there. Plus, you can't get in there right now anyway. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, We'll end the dialogue for now. Let's have a look around. Anything in the courtyard that's worthwhile? Yeah! Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Step right up. Step right up and admire the latest accomplishments in modern oh, medicine. Oh, he's like a giant potato chip. Anti-wrinkle cream with skin-firming materials from outer space. Natural food supplements with amusing motifs from the animal world. Our brand new product, the pill for in-between. For all those who didn't have time before and don't want to wait till afterwards. I'm sorry. Step right sell me up, 50. Sell me 50. at the sites and take a free sample of Alcofix. The exclusive miracle treatment with an alcohol that base. sounds important. It tastes 100 proof and works 100 proof. Hello, little lady. Are you interested in a sample bottle of Alcofix, the miracle brand? Damn right, I am. Mm hmm. Hmm. You actually look pretty healthy to me, and I'm afraid even Alcofix won't fix that problem with what? your ears. You think so Do you have any bad pains? Incurable genetic diseases? Yes. Tinnitus. Hepatitis? Cervical cancer? All of the above. Uh-uh. Hmm. Yeah. I'm so sorry for you, but I can't give you a sample of Alcofix like you are now. Come back when you're sick. Okay, so we have to uh, get sick somehow. I'm not quite sure how we're going to achieve this. We, we've got some mayonnaise so far. Indian Cemetery. And Prairie is that way. There's a lot of stuff here by the looks of things. Quite a big area. A more complex dream sequence than before. Ah, uh, these things, yeah. As Lily stared into the flames, she suddenly became dizzy. Oh God, it's gonna kick us out again, right? Eee! Oh. Okay, let's never do that again. Hi, Lily. Did you enjoy your little excursion? No. Uh huh. That's creepy as hell. Gotta put the mayo in the fire. No, I can just appear like that and be weird in the fire. Hello, Lily. You're not going to play with fire, what? are you? Of course you don't want that. You know that Mother Superior has forbidden it. You must not play with... Okay, so I'm going to have to turn on the restriction, then use the fire. Yeah? I think? I don't know. This is so bizarre. Okay, so let's... Uh... No, I, I don't have access to restrictions in this world. Okay. I guess there's not a lot I can do here at the moment. Right, Prairie, I guess, is the only way we can go at the moment. That vulture looks like he's having a great time. Yeah! 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 Yeah, yeah. Right the back at you. It's a talking vulture. Tell me, uh, 
You weren't planning on decaying in the next couple of days, were Not you? Not on my agenda. Uh -huh. uh, oh, well. No problem, eh? Huh? I should be cutting down on carcasses anyway. My dietician is a pulling his hair out. More fresh fruit, he says. I have a salad now, is I know all that. But what can I do, eh? Huh? I just love that rotten stuff. I just have to smell the rotting flesh. And I start suckling. And honestly, out here in the desert, huh? It's hard to maintain a healthy diet. I can imagine. You try uh, and leave something for later, and the bacteria just move <sighs> right in. They're always you like that, the bacteria. get the most horrible diseases, huh? Such a constant issue. Pesting boils, uh, oozing eczema. Oh. oh, man. Oh, this talk of food has made me hungry. Please, uh, leave me alone with my growling belly. If we leave... No, no, if we... If we leave the mayonnaise out in the desert... Okay. Then we'll come back in a minute, then we'll eat the mayonnaise and we'll get sick, then we can get the thing. Oh my god, guys, this is actually might work. Lily had heard that mayonnaise spoiled quickly in the sun. She would have to use it soon. It made her feel a little nauseous just thinking about it. Well, can I pick it up again now? There we go. Lily looked around. Beautiful. Why was there never anyone around to stop you from doing something when you needed it the most? <sighs> Here we go. Rancid mayonnaise. Ooh. Just eat it, Lily. Get out of the way. Come on. Oh, that's so gross. She drank the whole thing. <laughs> oh, okay. We get the alcohol. Yeah. Problem is, I don't know where Harvey is. Like, which one of these things is Harvey? I haven't been in here, have The I? door was too bad. Okay. So, you're now going to give me alcohol, sir. Give me all the delicious alcohol you can. Step right up and admire anti-natural. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And take it, take it. Oh, no. Not unless you've picked up a... Uh-huh. Do you have any bad pains? Incura tinnitus? Show him. Why, hello. Fantastic. What do we have here? <laughs> You've really caught something very special there. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. I, I did my best. This definitely qualifies you to test a sample of Alcofix, the miracle I brandy. can't wait. To be honest, you almost look <laughs> I am not good at being sick, I guess. Your is so severe. I'm not sure even Alcofix can heal it. Bravo. You might as well just take the entire bottle. He's very kind, this guy. I like him. Why can't I take the bottle? Take the bottle! Okay. Can I combine the medicine the with the handkerchief? The red the handkerchief were perhaps a clue that Lily needed medical help. Oh, really? What can I do with this? The color of... You must not touch alcohol. Huh? Had that bottle just talked? Okay, we can't use the bottle just now. We've got to use it for something else. Don't know what. The door. Too bad. I got a feeling that Harvey must be in there, unless Harvey's the gold. I don't think he is the gold digger, though. Can we give this guy? Let's give the gold digger the alcohol. What's that for? I have a whole mine full of gold. But if I wanted... It's not very helpful, as it really did. Put the alcohol in the saddlebag. Lily was certain that that wouldn't make for good provisions. Okay. The cash cow did... It was... Put the handkerchief in the bag. Lily was certain... Well, I think it would make for good provisions, damn it! There we go. Oh, hi, Harvey. He was in the bottle all the time. Are you completely nuts? You could easily get sick and just go. Give him the handkerchief. Which does. Which doesn't mean that I'm. I think you might be, Genie. And I don't n n n need this uh, this alcoholic. Uh, d d d d d d d d d stuff. 
Well, we better help him. Guess we better give him a handkerchief, you know? Oh, th 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 thanks. He's gonna die horribly from that. Uh, what's that? Yeah, owned. Owned. Quick, the medicine. And he drinks it, and that's another block removed, oh, motherfuckers. Oh, oh. <laughs> so yum, finally. Tasty. So nice. So nice. Victory is ours. Victory is assured. <laughs> The genie had broken his own rule. Apparently, it was okay to have a swig or two in certain situations. Damn right it is. Every situation. Every situation Whoa. ever. What you doing? Oh, no. We're drinking the genie. It's probably not a good idea. But still, another block lifted. Everything is good. Oh, see? That Harvey's having a great drink with a little drink hat on there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I love the music. This is just this game is just fantastic. Okay, well. Next time we're gonna have a drink, but not right now. So if you enjoyed this episode, leave a like, a favourite, a comment, all that usual good stuff. I'll see you in the next part of Edna and Harvey. Harvey's new eyes. Bye for now, Mix. Thanks. See you soon.